We're here today with Wolverhampton Wanderers women's team, getting them sweat tested in order to personalise their hydration strategies for training and match days. We've got a really good bunch of girls here um, who are really receptive to things and they'll ask lots of questions and they get really involved in the process and they'll ask me questions on my practice and see how things are happening and why things are happening. So as soon as the idea of this hydration was brought up with them, they were really receptive to the idea. And one of our major problems that we have, working at the level that we are, we sometimes have midweek fixtures and obviously that provides a totally different opportunity for us because we've got the girls that will work all day and then they will come to us in the evening and we'll expect them to perform and, and get results so hydration is a big thing that I talk to the girls on on those midweek games because that's a big factor for us in a game that's how we can prepare for that game of the evening if we know that our, our hydration's on point then it stands a chance that our performance is going to start to head in the right direction most of the girls here especially you know the older ones are working full-time jobs um, so we can work from anything from, you know seven o'clock in the morning nine times out of ten as well a lot of players come straight to training so it's difficult it's difficult to stay hydrated um, it's difficult to know how much fluid you need to get on or indeed try and get that into your body while, while you're working a full-time job. So when sometimes when you do come to training, it's hard to know if you are hydrated um, and if you are ready for the session really. Me personally, I do get some headaches the next day and that could, could that have been linked to maybe not being hydrated or not taking on enough fluids. So yeah, we're you know, really excited to find out and know exactly what we should be taking on and it's going to enhance our performances. We're all part-time at the minute, so obviously we provide the girls with everything that we can and all of the coaching staff here are fantastic and we provide the girls over and above for what they can do. So it's stuff like this that really allows us to then individualise it, both to their requirements, their needs and their lifestyles to make sure that it really fits what they need. I think I sweat quite a bit. There's uh, Again, since this product's come in, a few of us have had conversations and a couple of us have, have joked and said, I'm probably going to be on the highest one. And then like normally when you're showering, you can feel you know the saltiness of your sweat coming down and to your eyes or into the, the corners of your mouth. So, I, 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 yeah, I'm going to guess I'm a, a, quite a sweaty player that's uh, quite salty sweat. <laughs> As a coaching staff, we've been at the club now for about three years and we really are embedded within the club now, right from the first team all the way through to the women. It has been a fantastic journey that we're a part of here. We got that promotion that we, we very much deserved, um, getting up to tier three where we are now and we've had a fantastic start to the year. We worked really hard during pre-season. We've implemented loads of different new strategies. We've implemented this hydration product that will now help push the team further on in their performance. And I always talk to these the girls about these little 1%. Where can we gain these? these little one percents that will help us in the overall picture. As a standalone thing, they might not be a big thing, but when we add all of these one percents up, they make a massive difference to our performance at a weekend, whether that's recovery, whether that's gym work, whether that's hydration, nutrition, whatever that's made up of, all of these little one percents make a massive part of the big picture, and it really is helping us to get to where we want to go in the future. Women's football is only progressing in one way, uh, and it is very exciting what the future is going to hold all the different opportunities that come along the way, the different things that are available to us that we can mould our programme and work around. Compared to the men's game that has been set in stone for so much time, we can provide girls with these opportunities that they might not have had before. Before I came into this club, there was a lot of stuff that the girls hadn't had and being able to provide them with them now is only helping their performance and that's been shown on the pitch. If you'd like our help figuring out your own hydration or fueling needs, then please feel free to reach out to us at precisionhydration.com. Thank you for watching and of course don't forget to like and subscribe.